Not only do we have master specialists with us, but part of the division includes uh, three podiatry uh, attendings, and uh, they help us manage uh, foot disease and make sure that when we're done managing those patients, they have a functional foot to uh, ambulate on and uh, also work in conjunction with us in the wound care center. The goal is to for limb preservation of these patients and get them ambulating as much as possible. And so those are really the values, I think, that the program uh, tries to uh, ascertain and uh, attain in those goals to make sure we do the best at uh, taking care of patients and uh, teach the trainees about the full management of all vascular disorders. The day starts the night before when uh, we have a, we talk late afternoon or a phone call at night discussing what surgeries are we going to do the next day, uh, what's our plan, how we're going to approach it, and discuss, discussing with residents and fellows, uh, asking them basically, how are you going to do this case? What worries you about this case? What do you think are going to be the challenges if this happens? How are you going to get out of this? And just having a whole communication to so make sure they're ready over time uh, to take care of these patients by themselves. Well, I thought I wanted to do surgery and just happened to be able to be lucky enough to do a vascular surgery rotation and really fell in love with the, you know, the disease process. The patient population is uh, typically a lower served population, underrepresented. Um, that needs a lot of care and has a lot of complex medical conditions and so that really drew me to that and then the surgeries are just you can do anything under the sun um, and really tailor your patients with their surgical interventions yeah. they do a really good job here at giving you level appropriate stuff to do that's always challenging you to become better with your technical skills while at the same time, obviously, you know, making sure that it's safe for the patients. I like the idea that a surgeon is, uh, I mean, you have to be a technical expert, you have to be a team leader, um, you have to be somebody who's a good communicator, and you have to continuously build on a skill set to try to improve it. And you have very set objectives every day you try to reach. All your course, understanding patient care, taking care of the patients in the floor, and of course, starting to the surgery and uh, working with us very early so you can start learning your endovascular and open. Uh, proceedings. Uh, eventually you're going to be taken up and with more responsibilities and, and being involved in more complex and having more of an uh, important role in the surgery until uh, eventually when you become a fourth year resident where you're basically running the service and you're going to be the same as a junior fellow. One of the things that makes our program really special is the relationship that we have with the general surgery department and with the cardiothoracic surgery department. We work really closely with each one of those services. We rotate obviously a lot on general surgery. We rotate with radiology and we rotate with cardiothoracic surgery. And they have really taken it upon themselves to make us feel like one of their own. I was really impressed with, um, with the faculty down here um, and their ability, to, uh, their ability to teach and also their patients while teaching. Um, I never felt like they were in a rush and they always wanted to uh, make sure their main goal was of course the patient, but also making sure they're developing the next generation of vascular surgeons. And uh, I was just very, very impressed by their demeanor in the OR um, and their, their passion for, for teaching in the operating room and during conferences. It sounds cliche, but it is the people. The attendings here really care for you as a, as a person, as a trainee, and, and just growing you as a human being. And so I got to see them do that with the residents that were there while I was a student. Uh, we can definitely provide a great environment to learn. A group that has different expertise in different parts of vascular surgery to make sure, again, you're exposed from uh, complex aortas to lower extremities to complex venous reconstructions in a great environment with a great group of people who can teach you and make sure you succeed. They have a wide variety of experts here that, that, that focus on different areas of vascular surgery. So um, you're gonna be able to do the most advanced aortic surgeries. There's people that do a lot of uh, um, you know, venous interventions. Uh, and I thought that I would get a, just a great education being here. In the operating room and in the interventional suite, there are certain things that an interventional radiologist sees or that one of the cardiac surgeons or one of the thoracic surgeons will see almost every day in their career that you might end up seeing once and need to know how to address it. And I think they're really good at being intentional about teaching. And that's really helpful for situations which are common in vascular surgery. Here we'll do uh, thoracomesenteric bypasses, thoracobifemoral bypasses, and an open thoracobdominal aneurysm is designed to have uh, two of the attendings on each uh, type of disease process. And so we are uh, highly specialized in the sense that uh, two people will concentrate on cerebrovascular disease, two people on thoracobdominal or aortic disease, 
two people on, for instance, TOS. And so that uh, allows the program to uh, function uh, without any interruption should one of those clinicians leave. We still have someone to, to maintain those patients. One of the things that I really like about having you know, the integrated program here as well as the fellowship is that we'll get assigned to cases with the fellows and people who are further along in training. And you know, it's part of their education is them taking us through the operations that they've learned to do. Um, so I think we have a really good uh, collaborative program where we where we work really well together with the fellows and uh, it really adds for both of us. One thing that's made the biggest difference is that we have an entire team. So it's not just me, it's that we have an aortic team. We got uh, everyone who takes care of patients like this, knows what we're after and helps the patient get through. Everyone from the anesthesiologist to the scrub nurses, to the circulating nurses, to the residents, to the nurses on the floor, to the respiratory therapists and, and having a team makes a difference. And that's the way we, we need uh, specialized care. And that's the way that it's uh, really accomplished. And it's sometimes not, not possible if you just do a few cases, but with the number of cases we do here, it really makes a difference. We are looking for people who want to be leaders uh, in those areas that are willing to put in some time and effort to, to become really good in whatever domain they chose to pursue. That's really what we hope to foster uh, through the five years of surgical residency and, and surgical clinical training. Learning how to take care of people better, more efficiently, and with improved outcomes, and providing an environment to train the next generation of surgeons and, and physicians. Research is an important part of that. You know, that's the, that, that in many ways is the learning how to do things better. But uh, paying attention to how we do that in the context of taking care of patients uh, and educating people, um, you know, obviously lots of overlap between those three missions. Even from the early years, it's going to take some time and experience to have all the right answers and experience but it's some time and experience to one of our trainees to have a plan for these cases. You know, it might be wrong at the beginning. Eventually, you know, with experience and time and working with all of us, they're going to find out uh, what's going to be the best way to treat these patients and, uh, and it gets to the point where they need to be independent. This is a wonderful place to raise a family. It's a place to have uh, public education that's at the highest level. At the end of their training, many of them are saying, how can I stay in this area? It's just a wonderful place. People recognize that they can fit into this community, uh, no matter their background, uh, very easily. It's just an academic, enlightened place to live.